morning, everyone. Just gonna make sure this is uh, working. So the, the fund statement, we're a public company here, our ticker's ILA, we're listed on the TSXV. So here's our fun uh, forward-looking uh, statement here, which I'll save you the time from reading out. But, um, you know, getting into it, what I wanna do today briefly for those who don't know is give you a little bit of background of who ILA is today because we've been, uh, we've transformed over the last few years, uh, both from a financial perspective, but also from a product perspective. Um, we signed a term sheet with a highly accretive acquisition that we're super excited about, which I'll happy to dive into, give you a bit of a financial snapshot pre and post acquisition, and then uh, why you guys should believe in us. Um, you know, currently ILA today is, uh, we're a real estate software uh, company. Primarily what we do is valuation management. And so what I mean by that, we currently power and manage the back end systems for the assessment municipalities, assessment bodies for property tax, the municipalities, as well as the counties in the US. Um, whereas the acquisition, which I'll get into a little further, Clarosity does something quite similar from a workflow and data analytics perspective, but for the valuation on the lending side of things. So same expertise, one does assessment and focuses on property tax, one does valuation for, the, for lending. Um, before I get into the actual product and the, uh, the acquisition itself, I just wanna say, you know, why we are where we are today is because we are a transformative, I don't want to say disruptive because everyone throws around disruptive as if they're the next Uber, but you know, we truly are a transformative uh, valuation software platform. And what I mean by that is we're starting to be able to do assessments, valuations, appraisal in a better, cheaper, faster manner. And so what I refer to as traditional of the appraiser, or the appra appraiser or the assessor that goes out and checks the boxes, returns it in about seven to 10 days, and then uh, you know has a social bias because uh, I put number 34 because I'm a huge Austin Matthews on my garage, but really that shouldn't take into effect the actual valuations because that's a 10 minute fix and you know $20 can of paint. Um, so we are transforming the valuation industry in real estate by making it a data-driven approach to valuations as opposed to you know, uh, incorporating and being hugely reliant on the actual assessor and or appraiser's knowledge within the industry. Um, our CEO, uh, Gary Yeoman, founded uh, Altus Group, was also an early investor and one of the founding members of Real Matters, which is also a valuation uh, management company. And so we have great a huge amount of uh, expertise and knowledge and domain expertise within the space spanning you know over 30 plus years. Um, as a result of that and founding and working in Altus Group as well as myself, we have great contacts within the industry. We know who the players are. We know who are the innovative companies. We know who the uh, profitable companies are. And you know, doing 30, 35 acquisitions in Altus, um, you know, we're, we find these types of companies, we've got contacts, we've made relationships with them and we're focused on, you know, being a public company at Altus, but also now is, you know, focused on doing a creative acquisition, especially at our size. So um, lastly, uh, at least on this side, as you can tell just from our last few years of our, our CAGR growth is we're a growth oriented company and that's what we're focused on. This is not a lifestyle business for us. This is a growth oriented company and we believe that we're just getting started. Um, as previously mentioned, our, our platform, our current platform is with the Geo Viewport. That's our workflow technology. So for those that are familiar, we power uh, MPAC, which is the second largest assessment uh, body in the world actually. And we power their entire backend solutions. And so when you think about it, the value you wanna, to, to understand the value we provide to our clients is first and foremost, well, property tax. Yeah, it's a bit of a snooze fest, you know, from a topic perspective, but to a municipality assessment or what they refer to a county in the US is that's their biggest revenue generator. So you wanna make sure you're damn accurate and that you're not paying overpaying to get those valuations and or assessments done. 
Um, and on the private side of things, you know, to the JP Morgans, the big asset managers, well, that's your biggest operating expense for you homeowners out there. You know, when you think about it, your property tax, that is your biggest operating expense. So you want to also be on the flip side, on the private side of things, you want to make sure those are, you're being charged and uh, assessed the correct amount. RPTA is our analytics platform. That's when I referred to earlier is our transformative technology and taking a data first approach. So there's always going to be a need for the traditional approach for the, you know, the farm in Des Moines, Iowa. But at the moment, you know, you don't need an assessor or an appraiser to go out to a house in Toronto six different times and potentially come back with six different valuations when they're absolutely the same house with maybe an extra bathroom here or there. Uh, Clarosity, I've mentioned, it's the same thing. Um, we are, it's the same domain expertise. It's a workflow and now within the in industry, it's called an automated valuation model. So leveraging hedonic modeling and data to come to those valuations in a more accurate way, in a more timely way, and a more cost efficient way to the client. Um, as you can put up, this is just a small sample of our clients, but MPAC on the assessment side of things, we're in over 30 jurisdictions or counties, I should say, in the U.S. That is our, the huge focus for us in terms of growth. We're a growth-oriented company, and we believe the U.S. is just ripe for these types of solutions on the assessment side of things. The other major and hugely attractive thing to us from a, the Clarosity acquisition is, you know, those clients, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs. This is a stable of clients that people take years to get into and maybe leverage their entire business off one. Well, Clarosity has a bunch. So not only is it a good business to grow from, to have organic growth, but also the ability to cross sell our current products platform into, into those clients is just enormous. Um, you know, I can, I'll get into the deal specifically, and this is sort of why you, you may or may not have heard of us today, but we're, we've got a platform and we've got ILA to a point that we're now able to grow. We're able to do accretive acquisitions, you know, cashless acquisitions. So the Clarosity acquisition is largely cashless. We are uh, currently debt-free. We are taking on some debt. We are issuing some shares, but it's a cashless transaction. Um, we believe the, the management team is staying on. They love us. This is a company that's unfortunately been hampered by non-public company management, but they are industry experts. They are visionaries. They are innovators. They are entrepreneurs themselves. So they have welcomed Gary and myself to come over and start cleaning up some of the balance sheet issues that's hampered their ability to grow. So, you know, we really, on, on top of the public company cost synergies and some of the development cost synergies, since it's the same domain expertise, they have welcomed this opportunity. And we've already had a large influence, although we've only signed a, you know, a term sheet to them and provided uh, some money to confirm that our interest and double down our interest in to get this thing done. Um, they have all agreed to stay on. Um, I'll get into a quick financial snapshot. So, you know, we're nine to 10 million of revenue today. We are debt free. We have cash in the bank, a little over four and a half million. That's you know a bit of an asterisk because in the last year we've made some investments into some real innovative AI real estate software companies, um, and that we have zero debt. So post acquisition, you know we're now 25 to 30 million in revenue. We still should be EBITDA positive. There will be a bit of margin compression because they had similar historical issues like ILA had in terms of press shares, you know, poorly structured debt. But, you know, again, Gary uh, and myself have been there, done that type of people management wise, both at Altus Group, Real Matters, ILA, and now hope to do it quite quickly uh, uh, with Clarosity. Um, but, you know, I've talked about the, the, the product itself, the leveraging of the domain expertise that we have and our knowledge of the space. Uh, we talked about the clients, the ability. These guys write multi-million dollar checks. You know, with our balance sheet, they're going to be able, they've told us, our first due diligence was, does our balance sheet satisfy, you know, your concerns about the longevity of Clarosity? They said, absolutely, get this deal done as soon as possible because then we can start turning on the taps and you'll see, you know, 30% plus growth. Um, but the last thing that I want, you know, for the fundamental people out there is, you know, the combined entity, we have an EV to revenue ratio of 0.9 times at our current stock price of 14 cents. Our comparables out there, when we look at the industry, the other real estate and software companies, the Altus Groups of the world, the CoreLogics of the world, the Descartes of the world, the average EV to revenue ratio there is 4.2 times. So 
we believe that and that alone is one of the more attractive pieces being a public company in the space that just the ability that room for growth on a fundamentals basis 0.9 and the average being 4.2 in our comps is you know just hugely attractive from a from an investment perspective um, I've talked about him a bit today and I'll, I'll wrap up here but you know Gary Yeoman again He's a been there, done that kind of guy. He's doing this because he really believes he's invested himself to, you know, two to three million dollars of his own money. He truly believes in the growth and the ability of our platform and the growth to it. And, uh, you know, like, a, like we say within the office, we finally got ILA to a place that we're going to grow and we're just getting started. So I'd like to thank you for taking the time listening. Really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, we have a booth number 304. Happy to meet up afterwards um, and throughout the next couple of days. So thank you very much.